Hi. Now for this last part then, we had to show that SR squared equaled SP times SQ. And what I've done here is just updated the diagram that we had where I've put in the coordinates of R that we found in the previous part. 3PQ for X and 3P plus 3Q for Y. So in order to do this, what I really need to do then is just work out what the distance SR is. Okay, I'm going to work out SR, square it, and then see how that compares with SP times SQ. So to get SR then, all squared, just apply Pythagoras' theorem. You're going to get this result here. SR, all squared then, is equal to the difference between the X coordinates, all squared, plus the difference between the Y coordinates, all squared. And when you square this out, okay, you get this. Pull out 9, say, if you want, and then group up your terms. It gives you this. And this factorizes really nicely, okay, to p squared plus 1 and times q squared plus 1. So that's SR squared. Now, in the earlier part, part A of this question, we were told to work out what SP was. Well, show that SP equaled this result, okay? 3 times all of 1 plus P squared. That means that because of the similarity with Q and P, it must mean that SQ would be the same kind of result, only instead of P squared here, it's going to be Q squared. So we've got SQ equals 3 times all of 1 plus Q squared. And so, therefore, can you see that SR all squared is clearly equal to SP times SQ. Okay?